Hi, I'm Dave. I'm Paul. And we're from Goodbye Motel. And we are here at the Aussie Barbecue at South by Southwest. And we're here with the AU Review. South by Southwest, how's it treating you? Yeah, it's going really great. Uh, it's, there's, you know, it's so much going on, it's kind of hard to know where to go and what to do. You kind of just bump around, bar to bar. It's been heaps of fun, lots of great music. What have been some of the highlights for you so far, both maybe in terms of shows that you've done, shows that you've seen? Uh, a couple of the highlights we saw, uh, for seeing other shows, we saw St. Vincent at Stubbs, which was awesome. Uh, we also got to see Les Claypool do his duo project at uh, Mohawk. Do it to Twang. Um, yeah, it was really, really killer. Yeah. Um, it was good to see him because we were big fans of Primus back in the day. And then probably one of the biggest highlights for us was playing the spin stage uh, at Mohawks for House of Vans. Um, really great turnout, awesome way for, to show off our uh, 4D show, which you need these bad boys to see. And we handed them all out successfully to uh, the entire crowd. The sound was awesome. The 4D show was great. So I think that was probably our best. Yeah, that was cool. It was great to get the support of like Spin and House of Vans. And it's, it's, nice. it's nice to get the support of people. You know, we're in a foreign country, so it's cool. Yeah, it was great. So everyone was standing there wearing the glasses in the, in the show? Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's really funny because you wear it during the show and then, you know, halfway through our set, we bring down the scrim that actually shows the 3D imagery. And uh, it was funny, a lot of people still kept the 3D glasses on to watch the show, um, even after the 4D show was, uh, was <laughs> off. It was kind of cool. Everyone got into the spirit of it. Well, glad to hear it. And I guess when it comes to South By and the promotion of your latest music and all that, what have you been promoting here? What's Tell us about your latest music. Well, we're, we're kind of launching our live show. Um, so we do what we call it's a 4D live experience. So we have uh, projections in front of the band and then lighting as, and everything's kind of in sync with the music. You did it after CMJ as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we did that. We did that. This is kind of the, the bigger version. We're, we're beefing it out. We're getting, yeah. kind of getting more confident with those kind of elements of the show. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying to kind of bring something interesting to the live performance. We want to get people excited about going to see bands and you know get people to experience something a little different to you know, what they might experience in a usual live setting. Um, yeah, it's something you can only experience if you turn up. You can't, someone can't film it and show you. You have to kind of be there in the room. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. And tour-wise, after you know, for that tour-wise, are you going to be taking that around the country? Yeah. Yep. Actually, um, we are also getting ready to release our next record. Um, so I think that um, we'll be doing the 4D show into that and well after. Um, the 4D show actually that we're doing right now has a lot of the new material that'll be on the new record. So we're really excited about that. Um, and um, yeah, we're gonna be touring it through the US. We've, you know, there's been talks of going to Europe, there's been talks of going to Canada. So we're hoping to put that all into play, um, you know, this year. And for a band that spends a lot of time overseas, you know, what does it mean to be here at the Aussie Barbecue amongst all these great Australian talents. You know, we, we kind of consider ourselves, um, I guess at the moment we're like a New York band, I guess, so we've yeah. all moved over here and we live here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's great to come out and hang out at the Aussie Barbecue and see all acts, friends of ours who just played. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's good to kind of catch up with some of the Aussie artists. And will you be getting back to Australia anytime soon? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got to go back and uh, renew our visas and all that sort of <laughs> stuff. So that's a process, but it's fun. Like, we love it over here. We found that audiences and people are really receptive to what we're doing, maybe more so than in Australia. So that's kind of why we're here, really. Um, but yeah, we're excited about our, our new album coming out that um, Kevin Killen, who uh, has produced amazing acts such as Peter Gabriel, U2, um, to name a few. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, he's, he's also in New York, so it's been cool to kind of hang out and finish the album with him. And also the, uh, the artwork for the new record is going to be uh, featuring a, one of Storm Thorgerson's last pieces, uh, which, uh, you know, he recently passed away from cancer. Uh, but if you don't know Storm, you'll know him from seeing the uh, Pink Floyd artwork he did for Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here and all that. 
So we're really excited to be part of that as well. Um, you know, we're one of his last major pieces um, for our new record, so that's extremely exciting. Um, so that's that's what we have looking looking forward to uh, in 2014. Big year ahead. Well, guys, thank yeah. you very much for your time, and. Uh, for a band that's doing, you know, quite an elaborate show compared to most bands at South by Southwest, what advice do you have for uh, for a band coming to South by for their first time? Well, for coming to South by uh, for your first time, you really gotta be ready to just get on stage and play and do your best. And uh, the parking situation is not ideal. The setup situation is not ideal. But when you get out there and rock your own music, it really makes a difference. Hire a van and a driver and... And a pedicab. And a pedicab. That is my advice. Yeah, that's my advice as well. Yeah, so I guess one of the other kind of little initiatives that our band's doing is um, we kind of want to give something to people who find us and listen to our music and come across us. And we kind of thought, well, everyone has access to our music anyway, so we could pretend to give away music but people can already get it for free or go on Spotify, those sort of things. So we thought, why don't we give something to people? So uh, we thought we'll, we'll give a tree to people. So if, if people go onto our website, we'll plant a tree for them. Um, and it's just a cool way for us to stay, stay in contact. And especially here, like we're able to go up to people who saw us play and say, well, thanks for seeing us play. Now we can do something for you and we can give you a, give you a little something to take home and plant. Something keeps growing. You know, over time, and you know, we can communicate with people who do that as well. So it's kind of a fun little thing that we're mucking around with. And Dave's going to be the one who's going to plant one of the yeah. first five. So if you really get on top of it now, you could have your tree planted by this man yeah, right here. It. I've got a green thumb. What can I say? And I can <laughs> see it from here. It's very green. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it's a little.